welcome back to the green yard. It is a little bit warm and sunny here on uh, this mid-August day in the Phoenix desert. We uh, are over here, kind of, this is kind of no man's land over here. We're over uh, the pools over uh, behind this big, huge, beautiful fig tree. Um, the kind of kids play area is uh, over on that side um, where we have our, our two beautiful purple orchid trees and our moringa tree. And uh, you can see behind me this beautiful uh, blue java banana. This is a mystery fig that's been putting off just crazy, crazy amounts of figs. Uh, probably about 20 to 30 figs a day. Uh, so I'll definitely have to do an update video on this uh, fig tree here shortly too. Uh, the reason we're over here though is because we have another new addition to the green yard. And that is going to be this beautiful tree here to my left. This is called an ice cream bean tree. They, um, they do pretty well here in the Phoenix desert and uh, they can grow into full sun, meaning that that first year when they're getting established, they do like that afternoon shade. Um, but once they get established, they can take that full sun, full, uh, you know, 115 degrees sun. It's only about 104 today, so not too bad. Um, it does require some cold protection though. So I did put it over here near um, my plumeria, which you can't quite see, but it is on the other side. Uh, of the fence closer to the pool and so that way I can kind of cover both of them together uh, I like to keep my cold sensitive plants together a little bit so I don't have to cover all over the whole yard when it does get down uh, below like that 50 degree temperature there so um, we're actually gonna put this guy this uh, ice cream bean tree right here uh, giving it some space to grow away from the fig tree. I am going to trim this back come winter, so I'm going to take probably three feet off of this side anyways. Um, but right now I'm going to plant it here because this fig tree will actually provide that afternoon shade that our new ice cream bean needs. So I don't have to supplement any, um, you know, artificial shade, any sort of uh, old palm fronds is usually what I use for my shade. Instead, I can use this live living tree to provide that microclimate for me. Uh, ice cream beans create, for those of you that don't know, they do create a long um, kind of bean pod. It looks like a giant bean. On the inside, uh, when you open it up, it does have um, kind of like, it looks almost like cotton candy. So it's like white cotton candy, the whole length of the bean pod. And uh, you, what you do is you take out the white cotton candy, you stick it in your mouth, and then that cotton candy is actually around a, a small seed. And so you eat that cotton candy type uh, material off of that seed, and it tastes some something like vanilla ice cream. Uh, we got to try them when we were in Peru, um, which uh, you can look at our uh, Peru Green Yard episodes uh, if they've come out. Um, and see some Peruvian uh, ice cream beans as well. So I'm really excited to add this to the green yard because we've already uh, tried it and I like it. And um, I can add something that also grows in other parts of the world, which is great. So let's go ahead, let's clear away some of this mulch. You can see it's stacked really high here. I'm trying to keep some of this Bermuda grass away from uh, our fig tree, Jamaican cherry tree and eventually gonna be a few more plants along this area, make it more of a garden bed. Uh, so I am trying to kill that Bermuda glass. There is uh, cardboard first, and then about a foot and a half of mulch. So we gotta clear a space for it, break through that cardboard, and then we'll start getting uh, that ice cream bee planted. So here we go. as I mentioned, I do have to clear away this mulch in order to make, uh, to get to the dirt in order to dig that hole for this ice cream bean to be planted here. So let's go ahead and move this mulch away. I broke through this cardboard here. Uh, like I said, um, one way to kill that Bermuda grass 
put a very thick layer of cardboard down and then heavily mulch on top of it. This is about one and a half to two feet of mulch on top of that cardboard. And I can tell you right now, this Bermuda grass is dead under here. So it is doing its job. Um, and I'm gonna dig out this hole in order to put the ice cream bean in as well. So unfortunately, I had a little bit of technical difficulties with the camera. Um, uh, apparently, it's too hot for it. So uh, I don't think it's that hot out, but apparently the camera thinks differently. Um, as you can see, the tree is now planted. So what I ended up doing is I went in and just like with our other plantings, I went ahead and I mixed uh, our um, nursery soil, that really good rich soil that you can buy at the nursery. And I went ahead and I mixed that in with our native soil, uh, really got a good mixture going. Once that was done, I took my pot and my ice cream bean tree, and uh, this one was really rooted out, which was awesome. So that really was helpful. And I was able to get it out and put it in. I had to make a few adjustments along the way. Uh, I like the way that this is angled this time. Uh, it's going to get that shade that it needs, but it also will be able to grow as much as possible, which is really ultimately what I'm looking for from this tree. So uh, now that it's in the ground, I'm going to go ahead and add my amendments to it, get it watered and uh, get it on its way to growing and becoming a beautiful tree. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle uh, a whole bunch of sulfur around this guy. Um, just like many of our other tropical trees, ice cream beans do require a lower pH than what we have here in the Phoenix Valley. So I'm gonna make sure to add that sulfur in, really reduce that pH, so the tree can actually access the, the nutrients that it needs. Um, so I like to give a decent amount at the beginning, and then uh, I add more sulfur every three to four months or so, depending on what type of tree it is. Some of our other trees like lychee and miracle fruit, they need uh, a very low pH. So that requires me to add sulfur every uh, two months or so, sometimes every month, depending on when I remember. Uh, but most of our other trees can be every uh, three months or so. All right, so there you have it. Um, beautiful ice cream bean tree planted in the ground here. Uh, wonderful new addition to the ever-growing, ever-changing uh, green yard. It really is a just beautiful tree. You can see it here just kind of peeking out of the fig tree. I think it's going to do really, really well here. And one of the nice things about this living shade is that if I ever need to, I can go ahead and trim it back uh, whatever uh, length I want to. And fig trees are pretty resilient, so I don't really have to worry about anything uh, happening to that fig tree. Um, I went ahead and I watered in that sulfur. You may have noticed that uh, with the mulch. So you want to make sure that that sulfur is definitely watered into the mulch. So that way if it rains or anything happens uh, water wise, you can get that sulfur into the soil and to those roots of the plant. So once again, another beautiful addition to the green yard. I'm excited to see how it grows and thrives. As always, live green, plant lots, and of course, have fun. We'll see you next time.